was working in here. He kept walking through with his girlfriend. Her name was Shannon, I don't know what her last name was. He just looked at me and he walked out. That was the last time I seen him alive. Two, three hours later, they sent one of the kids, one of the girls down here to get me. And they said, oh, your, your son went down. And it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like he's gonna make it. I said, you know what, don't say that because you're not God. Definitely he was dead. He was dead. They don't know how long he was down. With lack of oxygen. And um, I came back here got my purse and I went right up to the hospital and he only lasted uh, six days. He was on a ventilator, his kidneys shut down, his liver wasn't working, nothing. It's like his heart, the only thing that was keeping his heart going was the ventilator. So, and he had a little bit of, on day five, he had a little bit of a brainstem, a little bit you know, which we thought we, he was going to be okay because they had a little bit of wave in his brain. But two, the next day there was nothing. So we had we had to take him off on the seventh day off the machines that was keeping him alive. His kidneys were shut down too. He was well known on that corner. He was. He was quite popular. His birthday would have been on December 11th next month. He would have been 27. He left behind uh, an ex-wife and two kids. Oh yeah, those I lost another son two years before Tyler. And his was alcohol poisoning. So losing two sons in two years is hard. We got everybody that works back there trained to do it. I haven't yet. I just seeing my son go through that, I don't think I can see somebody else do it. I can't, I can't, I don't think I can yet. I'm not ready for it. You know, if they had that, I think my son would be here.